All right. So I have something. Oh, to thank share. God. I, I have something What's that? to share. Um, with oh everybody. yes, please. It's very exciting. So um, somebody who uh, worked on Sonic Heroes um, emailed me. Oh my God. And uh, I will I will keep them anonymous, but I will read uh, what they said to me. Okay, here we go. So this this uh, person worked on uh, Sonic Heroes. Okay, it was a, bu a bug tester on Sonic Heroes, right? The the front lines, yes. the fucking vanguard. <laughs> the of front Sonic lines. Heroes. Um, Wear a mask. The game was Sonic Team's first multi-platform game, which is why, if you look at it from a design perspective, all the levels are super flat, and all the texturing is simpler than even Sonic Adventure 2, with much flatter c colors and no real lighting effects. It was so they could try to make it work and look the same on all the current gen consoles, like I said before. Um, Sonic Team still wasn't the greatest at 3D stuff either, and I believe it was an all-new engine middleware, so the game was buggy as hell, especially the PS2 version, which we are playing. Uh, oh, which had and has by far the most bugs. The amount of bugs submitted by the testers was so immense that it eventually got to the point where management told them that if a bug does not prevent them from completing a level, it wasn't to be considered a bug. Do not oh, submit it. Oh my god. So the only things they could submit eventually were bugs which literally stopped the game from progressing. If you could mash no your way through way. a level, it was good enough. Holy uh, crap. Finally, there was a showstopper bug, the biggest bug, which I think kept them from shipping the game for a while. I'll never forget it because it really captures the true essence of the Sonic cycle. Throughout the game, there are doors which Sonic and team are supposed to use by use of, uh, are supposed to open by use of switches, but the bug was such that if you ran into the locked door at full speed, Sonic would instead clip through the door, but not into the area that was supposed to be behind it. Instead, he would keep going, running forever in a black nothingness, which would never end. Whenever I think about that, there's a certain level of existential dread which fills my soul. It's, a, <laughs> it's almost like that's what these games are now. Sonic running forever, and it can never end. <laughs> wow. I love that person. <laughs> so cool of them to write to you. Yeah. So there, there you go. That's a little, uh, that's a little insight onto the development of Sonic Heroes. You don't have to say it like when you see the name, because that might give it away but let me know if you see the name of the guy who wrote to you okay okay cool yeah I just don't want to talk about it I don't want to see this anymore get it off the fucking screen <laughs> uh, let me know if you see the name of the guy who wrote to you so folks are gonna be wondering we can't bail on it now oh is that him Sonic team that's him 